Hey everybody, it's Lara here. I'm so excited to share a new design with you. We are going to be taking a look at how to paint a mermaid. This placement is one of my favorites that I've been doing this summer. It's three simple parts. We have the mermaid tail, the sunset, sunrise, and the wave. And you can see it just, it fills the face. It fits all kinds of different face shapes. And I have a lot of fun playing with the colors, playing with the textures and everything. And it really is so simple. So let's get started. We start with the rainbow cake. Whichever one you like. I like to make sure there's some yellow in there to kind of talk about a sun. And you just pat it in a circle over the eye. We can use the same sponge to put in the tail of the mermaid and it's perfect. And we just pat everything on. It big bold blocks of color. And now we're ready to connect our sun to our tail. With a filbert, it's just two quick swipes. And it's amazing. It's there. Um, play with the shape until you find one that you absolutely love. We rinse that brush out and reload it with blue. And all we're doing is we're hiding the connection. So it looks like this mermaid is splashing right out of this wave. So we just go right in between and then up above and then just fill it in with some beautiful large teardrops. Hey, our base is done. Can you believe that? It's so fast. I love this design. Now we get to go in and make some water line work. I love water line work because I can play with it. I can change it on every single face, but just bunches of teardrops, a few dots, maybe a couple of shadow loops and then a swirl or two and you're done. Like it's so much fun. I also like to make sure that I add a little bit of detail work where I'm crossing over with the tail and the corner of the eye is a great place to put in some little teardrops or sparkles or whatever you're feeling. After the white, I like to add a little bit of star blends texture. I love this texture because it just adds so much pow to the tail. Now we want to add some detail work to the fin, the tail fin. So I like to use whatever color the tail is, its darkest version. So here I'm using a dark pink, but this also looks great with black. If I'm doing it in black, I'll also outline the mermaids, um, the body of the tail, not the fin. But it's just beautiful. Just add those little details. Now to make sure that this tail fin really shows up well, I'm going to do a shadow echo of the outline with a liner brush. It goes so fast and it just adds a really bright look to that tail. Now, of course, we can add eyeliner, we can add and add and add, but this can be done. So, of course, a little bit of glitter on there and ta-da! <laughs> I can't tell you how many little mermaids have swam out of my chair this summer. I'm having so much fun with this design. And bonus, we can do the same thing with a dolphin. Making half of the dolphin allows us to make the dolphin so much bigger. And I love it. I hope you do too. Please let me know what you think.